here we go with our with a game of Family Feud for the PC. I'm doing this on my own for the first time in quite a while. Here we go. I'm gonna try it. when I make it to fast money. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try something up my. I'm gonna try something really harsh. Hi, folks. Okay. Backstage. All right. You can pick your family. Family one, you have the space bar. Let's get at her. They're from the Sunshine State, and they describe themselves as being hungry and hilarious. Let's hear it for them. Family number one. They're from Olympia, and they describe themselves as solid and serene. Let's hear it for them. Family number two. These two families will be fight for big money on the Family Feud. And now, here's the host of Family Feud, Louie Anderson. Saying the word. Time for the Family Feud, everybody. Let's have some good old-fashioned family fun. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> You know the drill. A hundred people did the survey. Top five answers up on the board. Five survey. Five Good luck. for this survey. Here we go. Tell me someone who's always someone fixing who's you always up with blind dates. Blind dates. Okay, uh, family number one. Your friend. All right. Show me. Friend. Okay. Good answer. Number one. Family number one. Are you going to play or pass? Gonna play? Let's, play. Let's, Let's go. go. Another player, okay. Got an answer for us? Tell me someone who's always fixing you up with blind dates. Is it there? Show us! Not on the 3DL, so I gotta think hard. That's it. With Another player, okay. Got an answer right for it? Tell me someone who's always fixing you up with blind dates. Yeah. Survey says. Oh, yeah. All right. Next player, what's your guess? Tell me someone who's always fixing you up with blind dates. Is it there? Good guess, but no, I gotta give you a strike. Another player, we need another answer. Tell me someone who's always fixing you up with blind dates. Is it there? Oh, I'm sorry. Strike number two. Next family. One more strike, and you get a chance to steal. All right. Another player. We need another answer. Here Tell we go. me someone who's always fixing you up with blind dates. Is it there? Show us. You got it. Next player, let's go. Tell me someone who's always fixing you up with blind dates. Grandmother? Answer please. Survey says. Good guess, but no. Gotta give you a strike. A chance to steal coming up. One answer left. Family number two. Tell me someone who's always fixing you up with blind dates. Let's see if it's up there. Yes! Family number one gets the point. What was in the fifth spot? Three points extra. We still did really good on that one. Let's see how our families are doing after the first round. Family number one, you are off to a great start. Family number two, you're not far off the lead. 
Let's play the feud. It's time for round two. Remember for me, family. Let's go. As revenge to 100 people revenge surveyed. Terror. We got the top four answers. You just got to give them to us. You just got to give them to us. That's another bonus right the there. The variety is the spice right. of life. What, the what would you I like more variety really in? Revengeful, real, something for revenge to Thunderbirds and Para uh, to give us a stupid answer. No. <laughs> what they did to me earlier. Family number one. My recordings. I had uh, if variety is the spice of life, what would you like more variety No. Your job. I hope it's there for you. Let's see. Job. job. Our top answer. Way to go. Family number one. Right Are you going to play or pass? Going to play? play. Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> That's good. Let's if variety is the spice of life, what would you like more variety in? All right. Let's see what's on the uh, I can't believe it's not there. Sorry. We can. Next player, what's your guess? How about love life? If variety is the spice of life, what would you like more variety? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Show me that. <laughs> Absolutely. Jackpot. Next family member, what do you say? If variety is the spice of life, what would you like more variety in? Yeah, yeah. Is it there? Yeah, good. Okay. That's it. Another player, we need another answer. If variety is the spice of life, what would you like more variety in? All right. Let's see what's on the Good answer. But sorry. Your second strike. One more strike and you're up, family number two. Another player. We need another answer. If variety is the spice of life, what would you like more variety in? Answer, Is it there? Show us. Oh, good answer, but sorry. The next family can steal. Your answer, family number two. If variety is the spice of life, what would you like more variety in? Okay. Give me the answer. Give family number one those points. What was the fourth most popular answer? Let's see how our families are doing after round two. You're building up a big lead, family number one. There's lots of game left, family number two. Are you ready for round three? All right, let's go. Come on, another player from each family. You know the drill. A hundred people did the survey. Top six answers up on the board. Survey coming up right now. Right now. Name something that you can now buy unsalted. Peanuts. No. Peanuts is the first answer. Family number one. Okay. I want to see peanuts. Good answer. Number one. Family number one. Are you going to play or pass? You're going to play? All right. That's family number what do you say? Name Crackers. something that you can now buy unsalted. Yeah. Is it there? Yeah. Oh yeah! Three more chances. I had another player. Okay. Three more chances. Got an answer for us. Name something that you can now buy unsalted. Got an answer for us? Good answer, yeah. Survey says. Good 
All right. <laughs> Another player. Okay. Got an answer for us? Name something Popcorn. that you can now buy unsalted. Yeah. Is it there? Show us. Okay. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> That's what you get. You get to miss another player. Here okay. Getting good answers. An answer for That's us. You get, Name guys. something that you can but now buy all. unsolved. All right. Okay. That's it. Next family member. What do you say? Vengeful, Name wait. something that you can Stay now buy money. unsalted. All right. Show me that. I was one answer away on first two. You should have nailed that one. Well done. All right. He said, I want to see the 70 was good. Answer. That brings us to the end of round three. Let's look at the scores. All right, $80,000 right now in this jackpot. You've got a commanding lead, family number one. There's lots of game left, family number two. We gotta hold our ground. Round four, three times the point, but only one strike. Five Anything can happen this round. Remember from each family, okay, let's go. Okay, we're, we're really good, we're doing really good. A hundred people surveyed. We've got the top three answers. You just gotta guess them. Good luck. <laughs> Tell me something you want to be sure to take the price tag off. I'll let Lucy try Ooh. it first. Your answer, family number two. We need an answer, please. Survey set. Right. Right. Good guess, but it's not there. Let's give family number one a shot. Lucy's mouth. <laughs> All right. No, that's not it. Okay, then. Let's try another survey. A hundred people survey. Top four answers are on the board. We're looking for the most popular answer. All right, here we go. Name something you ask friends to take care of when you go on vacation. Something you ask friends to take care of when you go on... Oh, I got the answers right here. All right. No. We're good. We're good to go. Family number one. First answer is pet. I hope it's there for you. Okay, show me pet. pet. You got it. Our number one answer. Family number one, are you going to play or pass? Going to play? Let's go. Next player, what's your guess? Name something you ask friends to take care of when you go on vacation. Plants. Survey says. Good answer. Good answer. Next player, let's go. Name something you ask friends to take care of when you go on vacation. Is it there? Now we're at $110,000. Okay. That's it. Next family member, what do you say? All right. Name something you ask the friends to take care of when you go on vacation. Is it there? Show us. Stop the fast money we go. All right. You got all of them. Well done. Let's check out how both families are doing after this round. Well done, family number one. Boy, what a game. Congratulations right. to both families. But going on to the fast money round is family number one.
Time to play Fast Money Round. I need two people from your family. Let's go. We have our first player. Good luck. The clock right, won't start time. until I finish your, reading the first question. Taste of your own medicine, Paris, Name a very Thunder. common house plant. Um, very common house plant. Hmm. Let's try a fern. No. <laughs> Name a method of travel in method biblical of times. Method of travel in biblical times. Um, let's try camel. Name a word or a phrase used in basketball. Word or a phrase used in basketball. No. Dunk. <laughs> Name a grand prize a offered grand in one of those mail order of contests. Mail order contests. Money. Name something people wear oh, two of go. at the same time. Name something people wear two of at the same time. Oh boy. Oh, I'm gonna get Thunderbirds and Para for this. <laughs> I got one. No. Thunderbirds. Kara's kinky boots. <laughs> oh, never mind. Kara's. No, let's try that again. No, let's try a different one. Thunderbirds and Kara's. <laughs> Thunderbirds and Kara's. No. Hang on, let's, let's, let's try this. No. Let's take a look at your answer. Name a very common house plant. You answered. Was it up there? I got him good there. Name a method of travel in biblical times. <laughs> Sorry, karma's you a female dog, guys. Our survey said... <laughs> Name a word or a phrase used in basketball. Okay. You said... Show it to us. Name a grand prize offered in one of those mail order contests. You gave us. Let's see if it was there. <laughs> Name something people wear two of at the same time. You said. Okay, here we go. Is it up there? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Need we need hundred Our next player needs need 110, 110 points to win our fast money round. Same five questions. Dollars. Good luck. The clock starts when I finish the first question. Name a very common house plant. Name a very common house plant. No. I am going to try a violet. No. This is going to work. Name a method of travel method in of biblical travel times. In biblical times.
ammo got 25. Chariot. Let's try a chariot. No. Name a word or a phrase Let's used in phrase basketball. Used in basketball. Let's try a, a foul. Name a grand prize offered in one of those mail order contests. All right. Grand prize offered in one of those mail order contests. A car. Name something people wear two of at the same time. Where people wear two of at the same time. Shoes. Let's see how you did. Name a very common house plant. Here's your answer. Let's see if it was there. That's a hard survey. Name a method of travel in biblical times. Here's your answer. Chariot. Is it up there? Name a word or a phrase used in basketball. You answered. Survey said. Our number one answer. Name a grand prize offered in one of those mail order contests. Here's your answer. Car. Show it to us. Right. Our number one answer. Name something people wear two of at the same oh, time. He gave us... $110,000. Show it to us. <laughs> the number one answer. Way to go. Wow, $10,000. Congratulations. Congratulations. See you again on our next game of Family Feud. Goodbye, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm not. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say anything to them on Discord yet. Um, I'm just gonna surprise them. All right. We'll see you next time here at the Den of Games.